Let Alina go. You're hurting her. This is none of your business. Huh? Are you fine? John, you should calm down. I... Take it easy. I'm so sorry. What happened, Alina? <sighs> I'll take you home first. Thanks. What have I done? I'm really a bad person. What's the matter, sweetie? Mom... You shouldn't skip dinner. I'm sorry. Tell me what happened. Actually, I... You looks like you just broke up. I rejected John's feelings. You used to like him, right? How do you know? That's not hard to know. Mom, I want to learn Roblox University. Why did you suddenly change? This is hard to talk about. I heard that John also graduated from Roblox. <gasps> I'm going into my room. From that moment on, I knew you had feelings for John. So did John confess his love to you today? Yeah. So why did you reject him? I used to like John very much, but now I don't know why I don't want to accept his feelings. Is it related to your friend Adam the day before? Mom. <laughs> Let me tell you a story. Once upon a time, there was a girl who liked a guy they had known since childhood. Then, when that girl was about to confess, the guy already liked someone else. Actually, I liked a girl. Really? Yes, she and I are about to declare our love publicly. Well, that's great. After all, we are longtime friends, don't be so moody. Ha <laughs> ha, well then, congratulations, my friend. After that, the girl was very sad and gradually lost faith in love before meeting a guy. Huh? Your wallet. Thank you. Then they fell in love got married and had a happy family. The girl in this story just now is my mother, right? That is not important. The important thing is that I want you to know one thing. What do you mean? Each person's destined love comes very naturally, and no one can predict it in advance. John is your childhood friend, but he is not necessarily your destined love. I... <laughs> just listen to your heart. Mom and Dad are always by your side. Thank you, Mom. Are you hungry? I still have dinner for you. I love you, Mom. The next day. Here are your coffee. Thanks. Thank you. I'm really sorry for suddenly calling you out here. I was also planning on making an appointment with you. Why do we both have to be so delicate? This. I sincerely apologize for what happened last time. Actually, I'm also at fault. What do you mean? I used to have feelings for you. Then why do you... I don't know either. But, for some reason, I find it difficult to accept your feelings. Is it because of Adam? At first, I only remembered Adam with his strange appearance. Gradually, as I learned more about him, I wanted to meet him even more. It feels like our ten-year friendship cannot compare to the few months of friendship between you and Adam. Actually, sometimes I feel like I shouldn't like you. Why? Do you remember the love affair with our high school beauty queen? Actually, I'm not jealous. I just feel like it would be better if we were just friends. So that is... Since meeting and talking more with Adam, I feel like I've gradually forgotten that I used to like him. Maybe I should give up. You deserve a better girl. Does Adam have a tragic past? That's right. So treat him well, but not out of pity. I understand. I really want to help him because I consider him a friend. Nice. John, so we... Of course I will let go, but you have to promise me one thing. Okay. Will we still be best friends? Of course. You are still my childhood friend. <laughs> That's great. I have something to do first. See ya. Bye. Be happy, Alina. Are you okay? It's okay. Just a little dust in my eyes. Just cry if you want. What's wrong? Nothing. You and John. We made up. That's good. Huh? John said that he was the one who arranged for him and me to come out here. Right. I think you two need to talk. Thank you. We are friends, right? Now I feel relieved. Can I ask what happened? Actually, the time I confessed my love to you was a mistake. That day, I planned to confess my love to John. 
I know. So now you and John. But now I can't accept John's confession. Why? You two used to have feelings. Even I myself don't understand why. If it was me two months ago, things would probably be different. Uh, I, I don't know much, but just listen to your heart. <laughs> why are you suddenly smiling like that? He speaks exactly like his mother. As long as you feel okay. Tomorrow. School's over. Let's go eat later. Okay, but what about John? I'm not sure if he agrees. We should ask him later. <laughs> it's John. Who is he going with? <laughs> they look quite intimate. Maybe his girlfriend. Where are you two going? We're thinking of inviting you to eat together. Hey, John, why don't you introduce this girl? Oh, yes, this is Lisa, my girlfriend, and she's a freshman. Hello, I'm... I'm Le Lisa Rick. Hello, I'm Alina, and this is Adam. She's so pretty. Huh? Lisa, if that John dares to make you sad, just tell me. I will beat him for you. John, John is very good to me. Sister Alina, I heard that you are his childhood sweetheart. That's right. Can I be friends with you? I've liked you very much since our first meeting, and I also want to know more about John. Okay, John's friends are also my friends. <laughs> Why did the two of you whisper for so long? That's our secret. Stop asking. Here, I give back your girl. Do you want it to go for a meal? Forgot that, haha. Huh? Then let's go together, John. Is Lisa coming together? Do you want to go? So let's go. We have to say goodbye. I have to take Lisa home. Goodbye, everyone. Bye. Let's go home, too. Yep. Alina? Adam. Do you have something to say? You, too. Lady first. This crafty guy. I want to know more about you. What do you want to ask? Did you ever contact your mother after her divorce? <sighs> I know this is difficult to say, so it's okay if you don't want to answer. Actually, I also had a happy time with her. Then why did she... But she became different after her father went bankrupt. Huh? From then on, I always hated her because to me she only loved my father for money. Calm down, Adam. I... I'm sorry. No need to apologies. I understand how you feel. So she hasn't contacted you since then? How could she do that? After all, she is her biological mother. Oh. You look so cute when you're angry, Alina. Stop teasing me. Let go home. Huh? Oh no, I forgot my umbrella. Are you okay? It's okay. I just ran too fast. You got caught in the rain. I'm fine. Let's go to class. I told you to bring an umbrella, but you didn't listen. You're sick now. Achoo! Now eat porridge, take medicine, and sleep. Hello, Uncle Mark. It's Adam. Come inside, please. Mom, I can't eat anymore. It's me, Adam. Oh my god, it's Adam. Why did you come without calling? I saw you were soaked in the rain this morning, so I was afraid you would get sick. I'm okay, haha. -ha. Looks like it's still hot. I, I'm fine. I'll ask you for a day off tomorrow and record the lectures for you two. Thank you, Adam. <sighs> Adam, what does your face look like? Hey, have you heard about the new hot boy as really? I heard that he's ugly duckling. Really? Right. He used to have a very strange hairstyle. There's no way it could be him. It can't be Adam. Oh my god! What are they doing? <coughs> Who is that guy? So handsome. Hey, Alina. Why are you standing still? Jeff, why Adam?
Huh? Is that really Adam? It's me. Why did you suddenly... Suddenly I felt I needed a change. But after cutting your hair, you're really handsome. Thank... Thank you. This guy just cut his hair and it changed his life, haha. Why do people keep looking at me like that? Doesn't this guy know he's handsome, my gosh? Now you're a celebrity in our school, haha. Huh? Let's go for lunch. Okay. Since then, Adam has always been admired by many students, and it is rumored that he even has his own fan club. He was also very good at studying. So many female students came to ask for help. Even when going out to eat, Adam always grabs the attention, just like before. I became a thorn in the side of many female students because I was a deskmate and very close to Adam. Suddenly one day, that bad thing happened to me. Do you know your sins? Today we have to teach her a lesson. Why do you guys have to do this? This is just a warning. Get out. What the hell are you guys doing? Alina, are you okay? Adam, we did it because of you. Don't you care about your fans? FF I off. If not, I will tell the teachers. If you protect this girl, you should die along with her. Huh? This means you guys are criminals. Sa, are you two still okay? It's okay, but Alina fainted. We need to get her to the hospital immediately. Luckily, you two are fine. Alina needs to go to the hospital. I've already called an ambulance. Luckily, Alina is okay. Yeah. John, can I ask you something? Of course. Does my dating... You have anything to do with Alina? Older brother. No, you're not anybody's runner-up. You're Lisa. But... Actually, you look quite similar to Alina, and that attracted me at first. John... But gradually, I was attracted to your personality and kindness. Now, he and Alina are just friends, and she has probably found her important person. The most important thing right now is that I like you, Lisa. I'm so happy, John. Ah, headache. Don't sit up, lie down, and rest. How's everything? John and Lisa came to our rescue. They have also reported to the police that three girls are being interrogated. So, are you okay? Are you injured? I'm okay, just... What's up? Those people said they were my fans and then hurt you. It was my fault. Stupid. Don't make such silly inferences. <laughs> but... <sighs> Stop blaming yourself. Maybe I should go back to the way it was. Impossible. Leave it like this. But I'm afraid of implicating you. Stop. <gasps> so why do you want me to be like this? Bekasui, because you look so Hanazomi like this. He is really different from before. Haha. -ha. You look so adorable now. Don't tease me anymore. I want to ask you something. All right. After all, why do you have to cover your face? Do you really want to know the reason? Of course. We are close friends. Actually, it was my aunt's idea. Huh? She said she should cover her face to avoid causing trouble. Haha, <laughs> his aunt was right. This guy is a true lady killer. I'm the one who bears the consequences. Oh my god. So why did you change in the end? I... I... Don't falter like that. It's for you. 